In New York, he gave the State of the State address and he made the claim that people who did not have a New York state of mind, a perspective that fit with New York, were these kinds of people, people who were against abortion. Well, guess what? If you're a Christian, you can't be for abortion. People who were against social issues that promoted a liberal agenda, people who were against his perspective did not fit in New York. Well, that's a contrary position to your faith. And it's been tried by other governments in the past. Let me give you some examples of other governments. Yesterday was Martin Luther King Day. There was a time when the governor of Alabama stood up to say that Martin Luther King and his freedom riders did not belong in the state of Alabama. And he told them because that he did not want the things that he was pushing for, that Dr. King was pushing for in regard to the unity of the nation to stay out of Alabama. The governor of New York gave a very similar speech just the other day. Let's continue in history. A man by the name of Joseph Stalin, whenever he was promoting communism, said that anyone that did not see what the communists saw as right did not belong in Russia, and he killed almost 50 million of his own people. Let's stay with history and consider a man named Hitler. Hitler stood up whenever Munich was going to host the Olympic Games, and he said that Germany is for the Germans. And Germany is for people who see things the way he sees it. And Jews are not Germans. And years later, he killed six million of them in something called the Holocaust. So, is it an important time for Christians to stand up and speak up? Yes, 